Earth Soys. Virgo towards Capricorn, elevate yourself, your girl D. Kennedy here. Me in this constant window battle. Okay, so Virgo towards Capricorn, or if you are stalker watching for one. Sorry. We're going to start with Virgo first. Vibrant Virgo. Love for March. Okay, so you're up in your mind about um, some conflict here. Uh, about something, or I guess obviously someone that you love. Sorry, there's like something in my eye. And um, if this is leading you to having to make a decision, okay? Uh, whatever this conflict is, it's leading to a change, man. It's leading to change, move, and manifestation, leading you to two different paths and having to make a decision. For March or after March, uh, and you, we, the King of Cups is here. This is Virgo, so the Cups is water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So, depending on who's watching, point being is that we have a water sign male here. So, uh, let's see. Judgment, and judgment will be in your favor. So, let me find out what the decision is. Like, Well... We have an emperor here as well. So we have two men, but um, t different, I guess, because the emperor really represents Aries, um, and this is a man in position of power and control, you know, a possible father, boss, but, you know, one that makes the rules. And then, you know, the king too, but this is the king at more, the energy of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Like, So if you're someone watching, I mean a woman watching, maybe that's the decision between these two, the Emperor and the King of Cups, but you will make a judgment call, um, because you are at the end of this battle, okay, you're done with this, in your mind and on you're speaking it out of your mouth, you're done with this, you have won the battle, you fucked everybody up and you actually took the goddamn sword, so you fucked them up mentally and you took their minds, their thoughts and their hearts with you, leading to move, more move, change and manifestation coming your way. And a message of it with the Page of Swords here. This is new, young, immature energy, but also literally a message coming to you. Facebook, email, Instagram, text message, phone call. If you have somebody blocked, that would be why it's hard for them to get through. But you do have your eye on something new here. This is the Eight of Wands, so it will be coming back around to you very quickly. Um, leaving you as the Queen of Pentacles or dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. Depending on who is watching. Queen of Pentacles being an independent woman and the queen, the boss, the ruler, the home caretaker, the bread baker, bitch, and the candlestick maker. Because in the earthly realm, there is, like I said, with the first fucking, okay, we do have, wait, what is he again? The king of, this one, it's, um, shit, that's my bad. Hold on, no, because he is something. So, we have the Ten of Hearts there, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that's what the hearts is, emotions, water signs, but also the Wheel of Fortune. So, the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. This deck is weird because they use, like, it's just weird, so I'm just forgetting, but let me look it up. The Emperor. Yo, the fuck? So, look, oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. So, okay, so in two different decks, beating out. You have the Emperor, because that's why I was like, I could, it could, it's drawing a blank. This is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this king of air in this deck represents the Emperor as well. So, Aries, but also the man, the boss, so, and that's what you're weighing out your decision with, is that Emperor, okay? Maybe that's a decision you end up making. Um, and this is in the physical realm with the dimes, the diamonds here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you, but also... Being the high priestess, knowing beyond the physical realm with the moon over your third eye and making that decision with this possible emperor. That's crazy. Woo! Yeah, because one of them is going to get a rejection and a tower moment with that, with the re literally rejection and the number 16, which is the tower in the regular gilded deck. So just letting you know, obviously you know that because you have that decision to make, but... Oh my god, my knee was up like that the whole time. <laughs> but you will make it. Okay, Taurus. Tough Taurus, huh? Oh, oh. Okay, 
clear. Oh my god, don't mess up my nails, Floor. What am I in the hospital, Claire? <laughs> Perhaps you need a revival in life, Taurus. You tough Taurus. Yeah, that's so crazy. And what is it again? The Emperor. Yeah, this freaking um Baphomet looking ass motherfucker. King of Wands. So depending on who is watching Taurus, possibly dealing with the King of Wands, or you're acting like the King of Wands. Fiery energy here, passionate, quick, the boss, the ruler. What else? There is a death ending with this King of Wands coming up. For there is a death and ending of a cycle coming up here. Here for you with this King of Wands. Or as the King of Wands. A man who is passionate. Fiery. The boss. And the lovers fly out. Possible Gemini energy. But just saying this is a relationship of some kind. But there is a death ending here with a possible fire sign that's what they said leading to move or well yeah leading to you being up in your mind and emotional about your foundation and your stability with the four in the cups scorpio cancer pisces cups as a person but the sun is up right here leo sagittarius energy but um you know you're gonna bloom and blossom all the things in the sun that you need to you're not able to see that though with the moon here as well more scorpio cancer energy Okay, what, what? You do reach the 10 of a completion of a cycle within your earthly material realm, and it will be communicated to you, and it will start something fiery up in you and up your ass. Snack. Okay. Oh, wow, you saw me freaking shuffle it and the Fucking Emperor still came out. He came back out. Look at him here. Oh, my goodness. The Emperor, a man, another boss, position, power, control, possible Aries here. Aries Taurus represents the Emperor. And this spade up here is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the lovers. So possibly ending with this first one to go into some Gemini energy here. Having you with the Jack of Hearts, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, water, weighing and balancing this out with these two fishes here. You're not able to see it with the moonlight, but there is going to be communication with emotion and you taking a trip somewhere in the dark, in the nighttime, but also the fact that you're not able to see it with the moon. Again, more Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy with that moon there, but also literally a trip coming at your way. In the few, you know, this is March and beyond. Love. Oh my God, because you are a gypsy or dealing with one. The gypsy is also a sign of Sagittarius and the air signs because the air signs are master travelers. They're, they're always on a plane somewhere. I have many, 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 many friends and cousins that are Geminis. And I know the other air signs too. Anyways, back to you. So, you're dealing with a gypsy or you are being the gypsy going on that trip I just said and mentioned with the lovely mermaid deck here. Because there is an obsession. Either with you and stalking comes up again. Either with you or stalking somebody in the dark or they're stalking you in the dark on a trip. Probably the person that you ended it with, that with the death card. Probably that damn, okay, where are you at? Probably that damn fire sign who was acting like the fucking emperor, leading you to the new love with the freaking water sign, or somebody who just acts like it, but you ain't able to see that with the moon. That's how that works. That's how that rolls, nigga. Yeah, I said it. Because with the number three, you see, not only with your third eye and your spirituality and synchronicity, but also you are balanced in the mind, body, and spirit with this three and this third party. You see through to the answer, boo. I'm done with you. Thank you for watching for Virgo. No, Virgo. No, that was Taurus. My bad. Thank you for watching. That was Taurus. Now, happy, happy, happy. Thank you for watching for the tourist, or if you're a stalker watching, moving on to the happy cabbies. Happy cabbies march for love. What is the deal? What and who are you thinking of? Let's get to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, sons. Because you are at the end of carrying this heavy burden no more with the moon at your back and the sunrise. 
in your sights. Sorry, pardon me. Where is my water? Oh God. That is my bad. Hold on. I'm so sorry. You're in the, you're, you're at the end of carrying this heavy burden with this third party situation and um in the litter it with this with an with another earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We also have some fire here, Aries Sagittarius Leo, but this is quickly at the end of carrying that heavy burden. At the, with this third possible third party situation, you will no longer at the end of being up in your mind and being stabbed in the back about it. And you will have balance and patience within this Sagittarius energy here. But that's what this means. This is a temperance, balance, patience. Through that, getting you to the end because you are done dealing with this conflict here with this five. It is changing you and it is moving you in the physical, material realm because you are the magician. I forever have an issue with these blinds. Not even just on camera. In my own life. I've lived here for years and they fall to the ground. They're all t It's like crazy. Anyway. Back to you. Capricorn. Because you are the magician. You are done. You are ready to manifest. You've done all the studying. You have all the tools. You're ready to go. You're ready to blow, schmo. Because you do have the strength to do so. And you do have your eye on something new. With who? With a sun, possibly Leo, Sagittarius. Energy or somebody who is just the sun to your acts like the sun. They're very bright. They're very fun. They're very funny. They're very exciting. Because the Wheel of Fortune does turn in your favor with this loving situation that you have your mind and, and on the foundation and stability with with that four here that's what i was saying because somebody is sneaky here with the seven and somebody is sneaking away and you are being shown through signs and synchronicities possible fire energy aries sagittarius leo but we do have another three party here okay now but this is in reverse so third party no more you understand because literally upright you see those three people at the bottom we have a redhead we have like a fat face and we have a dark man where are these three people it doesn't necessarily have to be like a cheating situation or it could be you, you know you have a decision to make but depending on who's watching this could literally be a situation between your family members two different family members third party energy just affecting your situation because we do have two girls and a guy there Hey, like an auction of next up is the King of Cups, the Aries. No, King of Cups is the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Who? But he is very emotionally balanced. He knows how to weigh and balance out these situations, and probably to teach others to do so as well. Because you are up in your mind about this. You are the High Priestess. You are all knowing with that Moon in your third eye showing you, even though you cannot see it, being shown to you in your dreams what to do with that decision there in the physical material realm with those diamonds earth energy scorpio cancer pisces because you do reach the end of this situation with the nine more diamonds more earth energy in your physical realm but also putting you into hermit mode okay at the end of this cycle the wheel of fortune turning in your favor because that's what i thought that was to begin with and they look just like each other okay Leading you to no longer, wait, no, this is the beginning, which way does this bitch go? Leading you to no longer having to be up in your mind about a thing. No longer carrying any more heavy burdens. Because the, the fucking tower, the number 16 is a tower in the regular deck, the gilded, is right here, yo. And the ace of fire, like I said, starting something new. Yes. Peace is going to happen for you. Because somebody may be doing some candle works on you because it's in reverse. But whatever it is, it's not working. Okay, exactly, because the sun in reverse right behind it. That shit is not working, so don't worry about it. I didn't put no black magic cards in here, but I did put numbers. Ah, oh, shit. I did put numbers. I do have positive words, so there's a bunch of time. There's a bunch of shit that could pop out, but we got candle works here because you can also do candle works too. It's beautiful. But they could be, it could be done also bad. And this is a six upside down, but it looks like a two, right? That lovers, you can't see it, but um, yeah, we have candle works here. Because they're stuck in! Maybe that's why it ended. But you wished upon a star, a star and you trust. Okay, and you're following with the seven, the signs and synchronicity to show you with your third eye this obsession. With your third eye being balanced, mind, body, and spirit. Boom! Yo, okay, I'm gonna stop there. Thank you so much. But that lovers, my ass is sticking in this broken seat. Because there's lust above us. Yay!
<laughs> oh, excuse me, because we know that with the obsession. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell three times so you can get new notifies, because I will always keep coming at you with these videos, guys. Elevate yourself, your girl, D. Kennedy. Thank you for watching. Bye.